for this video, I'm just going to share with you guys how I am uh, getting ready for the spring up here in Canada. Uh, I just grow container gardens because I live in an apartment with a balcony. It's a bit of a challenge because the sun faces north, or sorry, yeah, my apartment, sorry, is facing north. And, uh, you know, the sun's a big challenge, but in a couple of videos here, we're just going to share with you guys some tips and tricks. So if I can do this, if I can pull this off, I know you guys can, especially if you have some land in a garden. So uh, let's check out what I'm going to grow. Under my stove here is how I get a head start because as soon as April 1st hits, I pretty much want to start transplanting this outside. But yeah, for the meantime, you know, you can just set this up under your stove just to get the seeds germinating and uh, sprouted. This is just some lost and auto kale. Um, I'll get some shop lights and uh, show you guys how to grow food pretty much in your house. Um, but again, this is just a technique I use to get a head start. Once I have sunlight, you know, I will be transplanting these on my balcony outside. Also, you'll notice a lot of the vegetables I grow are shade tolerant plants, meaning they don't even need a whole lot of sun. So I'm just trying to, you know, use the vegetables I can to have optimal success this growing season. Again, I try and grow shade tolerant plants. Um, I'm located pretty much in a zone five. Uh, Alberta, Canada. Um, so again, yeah, shade tolerant plants, butter lettuce, and these are all things I've had success with in previous years. We have arugula, you know, some purple curly kale, lost nato kale, dinosaur kale, black kale, whatever you want to call it, red boar kale, uh, more lost nato kale. That's my favorite. Red fire lettuce is awesome. I encourage everybody to try that if you get a chance. Um, and the red chicory is amazing as well. Tons of anthocyanins, antioxidants. Uh, that's why I, I try my best to grow purple, blue, red foods because I can always just go buy green lettuce or green kale at the store. So I just try and buy varieties that, you know, I just can't find very easily. So as you can see here, I have some pots with neglected soil. It's actually turning more into dirt. The difference between dirt and soil is moisture and minerals. Once this soil gets back into shape, I put some life back into it, it'll turn into more rich soil such as that. How do we do this? Uh, we add things like rock dust, uh, worm castings, um, you know, organic compost, uh, sawdust. Uh, that's coconut fibers. So if you see those brown coconuts, you can take off the brown hairs off the coconut, add it into your uh, uh, soil, and the beneficial microbes you develop will eat that up, and you know it's just going to build your ecosystem, and uh, you know you're just going to get better tasting food, more nutritious food. One tip I have before I go to the nursery, I do have some organic soil here. Uh, if a bag, if you see a bag ripped open. That's 50% off, so a good way to save money is buying damaged things. Um, this is a pot I bought last year. You know, it has a couple chips in it. You know, those guys will write them off for you pretty much and give you a great discount. So look for damaged stuff. It's, it's awesome. Random soil uh, information. You're going to want to use a potting mix. What we're going to be doing is uh, starting this purple curly kale. It's going to take about three weeks to um, germinate and sprout. So uh, I wanna get a head start on that for sure. Potting mix, make sure it's organic and natural. Um, those three numbers there represent NPK, that stands for nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. You wanna make sure you have you know, a good, uh, pretty balanced amount of that. Um, and then also make sure your stuff is OMRI listed. That's basically just quality control, confirming that it is you know, good quality uh, soil. I would never ever put anything not OMRI stamped in my uh, garden. Soil here, uh, one way you can tell the quality is uh, how many rocks and, um, you know, twigs and sticks you're seeing in here. I don't really see a whole lot. You might see the odd one, but cheap soil will have lots of rocks and sticks in it. Uh, Winter is pretty much at its end, which is when I bought this soil, so uh, 
you know, it's a little dry and kind of beat up, but again, it's pretty good quality. I will put the life back into it. Um, and now we're just going to uh, start planting some seeds. Normally what I would do is add like some rock dust and worm castings into this, but uh, my uh, nursery doesn't have any yet. So uh, this'll do fine. I'm just, uh, again, trying to sprout these seeds. Once the plants go inside these containers, that's a whole different story. This soil needs to be the best quality possible. But these guys here, you know, it's fine. Just put some organic soil in there. It should be fine. But again, if I could, I would put, you know, rock dust and uh, worm castings in there just to give it a little bit of a kickstart. But this will be fine too. Here we have some beautiful purple curly kale uh, seeds. And you know, I'm just going to drop a seed in the hole. Glass house, church like the congregation, smoke one for the paper chasers, run it down, count it up, everybody get a cut, organize rhyme syndicate, shipping it cross seas, boss keys, star boss cars, sedan like star walls, low riders with the color balls, garage priceless high as I get, it's surprising that I ever get to drive them, this journal letter cost you a hundred dollars, we roll them up back to back, no problem. Hella options, haters watching, plotting on the riches, but the snipers caught them at the fences, smoking killer in the trenches. It's a war going on in the street, said minute, and you ain't gotta walk out your crib to step in it. Yeah. 